Okay, it's a 20 minute presentation today. Today's unboxing is actually something I didn't open up. My sister had to uh, pack it all into a um, package and bring it to me. But I'm really, really, really excited to share with you what I got. Now, um, this is from a friend I met on Facebook. This is a gift. This is not a Lush unboxing. This is a gift. And as um, as a thank you to her because her products are amazing I'd like to promote her company and show you what she sent me now not only did she send me a lovely product that she makes but she also sent me some beautiful supplies that will enable me to continue producing and making wonderful inventive products to share with you today uh, well and in the future so when you when you see her products I'll make sure I show you and, and I'll get you a link to where to go them to get them and if she isn't able to get them for you well you'll at least know what they are and whether or not you want to explore that ingredient so the first thing I would like to say is thank you to Bina Patel of uh, Sai Beauty my yeah, I think it's pronounced Sai Beauty um, and with this beautiful, beautiful Indian garland toner. Now she does make beauty products like I do, and toners made from things like floral petals are out of this world delicious. And I was watching her create her, um, you know, harvest all of her roses and create her rose water, and just, uh, just reminded me of my grandmother and how she used to make rose beads, and so I had to share that with her, and that's what set off this friendship and she sent me she sent me some I can't believe it I absolutely can't believe it so I'm gonna use it before we get started because as you know Rose has a lot of amazing wonderful properties both for emotional well-being as well as physical well-being so here we go oh I missed myself alrighty so let's see what she sent me now, I've already ordered some sandalwood powder from her, and she's making a box. So as I go through these little samples she sent me, I will explore whether or not it's something that, that I want in my products. Now, the first one, and please, please excuse my pronunciation. These are uh, East Indian names of some of these Ayurvedic herbs. Um, I am familiar with quite a few Ayurvedic herbs, but we know them by different names in Canada and the U.S. So um, if there are two different names, I will clarify that later. Uh, the first one is called Kesudo. I'll show you that. Okay, now Kesudo. Let's see what it smells like. I haven't looked any of these up. What I really like and what I noticed right away is they're all a very, very, very fine, fine, fine grind. So these are going to be easy to put in things like masks, maybe even lotions, definitely bath bombs. Um, really looking forward to doing quite a few bath bombs and natural colorants that will perhaps add something nice for the skin. I like the smell of that one. I'm not sure what it is. When I cover it in a, in one, wait a soapy minute, um, when I use these products, on the Wednesday um, we'll find out more about what this is all right so that's an Ayurvedic herb that she sent me thank you Bina the next one is a favorite for culinary reasons as well as as beauty reasons and it's orange peel so we use orange oil we use orange peel um, the essential oil is phototoxic so which means it might turn orange on your skin um, it also might cause problems. Mm. My sister made the mistake of putting orange essential oil once in her bath. Don't do that. <laughs> um, there are a lot of essential oils you should be very careful with putting in your bath. But this orange peel, it reminds me of just oranges. It's not, um, it's a nice fine powder. So it's not too chunky or scratchy. It's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun to work with this one. 
And I think I will mix anything I'm using, orange essential oil, with this powder, as well as whatever clays I'm using, um, to help, you know, solidify that scent. Because I love satsuma, and I love tangerine, and I love grapefruit, and all of the citrus scents that are so sunshiny, uh, but used in smaller quantities and not left on the skin, um, in my products anyway. Um, yeah. All right, so we'll see if that can anchor it. But they are ephemeral. They, they... <laughs> They just dissolve right out because they just don't stay. <laughs> ah, the next one, hibiscus. I actually have a hibiscus um, tree. I haven't got any flowers because my um, bay tree is such a gar gargantuan giant. It's actually overgrown and I have no way to get to the hibiscus, but you can see the hibiscus as you go down my stairs on the inside. <laughs> so somehow it has managed to survive, which I'm very, very happy about. So hibiscus, it's a flower, okay? Often used in tea. These are all things that I'm assuming you would be able to take internally as well, being Ayurvedic. All right, here's one of my favorites. And now I have this one in a variety of different forms. Turmeric, when we cover turmeric, look at how bright that is. I hope you can see the quality. It is like bright orange. It might look yellow on the camera, but it, it is really, really more orange than yellow. Um, very, very nice. And so, again, so very, very soft. Um, turmeric I will be playing with and showing you in um, its fresh form because I have access to fresh turmeric, um, as well as whole dried, and then of course the powder, which is most uh, widely um, available. All right, so turmeric. Turmeric is an amazing, amazing ingredient for soap, but I'm gonna wait, make you wait a soapy minute to tell you all about it. Oh, oh, this is fun. Oh, this smells amazing. All right, I'm putting this in my box. Vetiver. If she's got any vetiver, I will be buying some more of that. Oh, I can think of so many ways to use that. I used to buy uh, orris root powder to anchor some of my fragrances, and this smells so much better. I wonder if it would work better. We'll have to see, you know, what the contications are and whether or not it's something I can use in my soap or my lotions or my bath bombs or, you know, any of my beauty preparations because we do have a whole line of masks that will be released seasonally. Um, all right, so lemon peel. This one is brown. I was expecting it to be a little more white like the orange, but it smells really, really fresh. So there's the lemon peel. And that's what it looks like. And again, something from the citrus family that we can use um, in different ways. That, that citric um, acid in them um, can actually be a nice uh, pH adjuster as well. All right, so we've got something. I don't know what it is. This one is called Mutani Mitti. So here's another one. So we've got Kasudo and Mutani Mitti, which I don't know what it is. So we will have to look it up. And if I use it, then I will tell you why. Mm, it smells really good. I, I almost wonder if some of these, like, you know, the Vedadabur, the Mutani, and the Kasudo are in the incense, um, the incense realm, because they smell like something you could burn. Um, and I have made incense before. I think I've just about made every, everything out there. And if I hadn't, I would want to. Now this is, uh, this next one here is called Moringa. And this is, I believe, from Africa. I've ordered a bunch of this in already because I am really, really getting excited about um, what this can be used for. My friend in Ghana, uh, Aisha from uh, Skin Passion, um, is uses this in her soap and so of course I had to find out more about it she of course has access to it fresh which is not something that we generally have which is unfortunate this is what it looks like all right it's a green powder and it leaves the soap again a beautiful green color just like the blackberry leaves that we talked about uh, last week all right here's another one I don't know what it is I'm gonna smell it just because you know herb smells so good they really, really do. This one is called Pan Ka Pata. Pata? Pan Ka Pata? Now, I'm not sure what it is. 
but I'm going to put it in the pile with the, um, the incense because it has that nice, um, delicious, musky, powdery smell. All right, another one I've never heard of, Manjis Tha. Manjish Tha. Manjish Tha. Again, I'm sorry about the pronunciation. This is all the first time I've said the word. So it's, it's not one that's my native tongue. So it's a beautiful color. That I can see it's going to be, if it's something I can use in my soap, I will des definitely testing it as a color because red. And again, it smells really good. Really good. Next one. This one is one, again, I've never seen before, and it is green. So it's, again, a colorant that we can use, possibly more. We'll see. Pipal Pan or Pipal Pan. If you know what any of these are, please leave a, a comment below. Tell me what they are. Um, if you are from a place where these grow, please, please, please say hi. Um, I know there's quite a few people from India that I visit because I love Indian food. In fact, I can't go to an East Indian buffet because I will eat so much that I get sick. So I generally, because I love the food so much, um, we'll go and we'll order family style and just enjoy it that way. Or I will go to the buffet and load it up and take it home <laughs> so I can pace myself because I love Indian food. I just love all the spices um, and the, the techniques that they use. Um, yeah, so here's the next one, one of my favorites, henna. Now, henna is something you can use in a hair mask. It's something you can use to color your skin. There are many different varieties of henna. Um, I'm not sure which one this one is. I will have to ask Vina um, because some of them will make your skin a brown color. Some of them will make it a red color. Some of it is neutral and doesn't do a lot uh, for coloring. So I'll find out. Um, henna is one of my favorite herbs, but there are many different types smells wonderful but yeah uh, hair masks are the, one of the first things that come to mind hair colorant um, uh, bindi uh, tattoo art uh, the temporary tattoo art is so beautiful um, for the weddings and stuff I've got a friend who's getting married soon and uh, so I'm trying to come up with a gold soap that would be really really nice for them so I can give them gold <laughs> all right here's one I've never heard of it's called Aritha Right, so if you know what that is, let me know. Aritha, there might be a you know an English word for it, um, but maybe not. A lot of these things, you know, this is the far east that these are coming from, and it smells amazing. It almost smells like something you could eat. That one's got kind of a fruity smell to it. And one of my favorites, I ordered a whole pound of this from Pina, is oh sandalwood. And this is a very special part of the sandalwood. It's a very rare part. Um, Shipments of sandalwood are being halted at this point, so it is going to go up in price. So if you want some of the really high quality um, Ayurvedic um, uh, quality sandalwood, now is the time to get it. And um, Sai Beauty does still have some in, I believe. But for how long? I don't know. All right, next one. Oh, I think I know what this is. Vinaigrette. I tried eating vinaigrette once because I heard it could help you lose weight. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. This might be a really nice one for a really earthy. Um, this would definitely blend well with um, maybe cedar or pine or a very earthy blend of soap. It has a very culinary scent. So, and it's, and it's very, very good for you too. It's one of those things like apple cider vinegar and turmeric. It's just super, super good for your body. So why wouldn't it be good for the best, for the biggest organ on your body, which is your skin? Um, all right, so here's one I've never heard of. Shikikai. Can you see that? Shikikai. Again, if I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize. And I don't know what it is. But it's got kind of a smell. It's got kind of a little bit of... of um, almost smells like uh, rose hips to me. 
kind of like hibiscus. I don't know. We'll see, and I will do my research. And when I use it, if I use it, I will tell you all about it. All right, so this has been an education for me as well as you. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited about it because these are things that are going to be so much fun. Oh my goodness. She sent me an ounce of Indian red rose powder. Oh, that smells so good. All right, so I'm going to do a whole episode on rose since rose is one of those things that you either love it or you hate it, a little bit like uh, lavender, but it seems to be Bath and Body Works pick of the year for a fragrance. And so I have ordered in um, rose wax, uh, rose absolute, rose essential oil auto, um, and then a whole bunch of things on... Um, eBay and Amazon that claim to be rose essential oil, and we'll see exactly what they are. But that is rose powder. So that's something wonderful that I can use in my rose concoctions. And there will be quite a few rose concoctions coming up. I love roses. I love, love, love roses. All right, here's one I've never heard of. Pulsey. Oh my gosh, it smells like cloves. It smells so I, and clothes is one of my favorite. I might have to get more of that. That smells amazing. I don't know what that is. It might even be leaves from the clove plant for all I know, or, or, or something. I don't know, it looks beautiful. Okay, here's one. Okay, so this next one is one that a lot of people really, really hate. <laughs> And a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of soap makers. Uh, one of my favorites. Um, what's her name? Um, Honey Bee and Me? Something Bee. Yeah, I think it's Honey Bee and Me. Her um, experience with me was not so good. Um, the powder doesn't smell that bad. And maybe that's what they use in a lot of the preparations in other countries is the powder rather than the uh, oil. The oil is very, very, very potent. It's almost got a garlic smell and it's really hard to cover that up. So if this works really, really well, maybe we'll be very, very um, conservative with the oil. <laughs> because I've been wanting to make a neem soap. I got that all up. Okay, so the last one is another one I've never heard of. It's in light pink color. These are gonna be so pretty for um, for bath bombs. I have a whole natural bath bomb line, so a lot of these I will be trying out on them. But this one is called Amala. Amla? Amla? I don't know what it is. Okay, it smells really, really good. A little bit spicy we'll see so um again i want to thank my good friend Vina patel for being so generous and sharing her wonderful wonderful products with me today so that i could share them with you and i will continue to um to educate you more about what these ayurvedic herbs um, are for or their traditional uses rather um so that you can make an informed decision about whether or not you'd like them in your your hand products or your face products or your soap products um, as well as consumers um, awareness so that you know what you're getting and what it's for um, this is Jennifer from gentle soaps and the Gen Spice channel thank you so much for coming and for watching this presentation and if you enjoyed this or if you learned something or if you you know, you just liked being here, <laughs> please hit like and subscribe and um, come on into my soapy kitchen or my soapy living room or my soapy garden anytime. Um, I would love to have you and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Bye for now.